Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial series video. We are back. I am going to do some more videos now. Um, so this one, instead of the agenda that I previously showed in one of my videos, I think it was like episode 8 or 9 or something like that, kind of going off track. Because I uh, discovered my own skill, which is smooth progress bars, as you can see here. It has that cool... Uh, liquid effects, I guess you could say, but it's really smooth. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And here, this is something I've been working on too. So it's very smooth. It looks pretty and it's absolutely not necessary, but I feel like this is just a cool video. After this, I will most likely get back with the actual series and stuff because I do have a long list of videos. So the series right now, if I were to finish all the videos, it would end at episode 22. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do, but I definitely expect to expand. Okay, anyways, I'm going to keep this aside since I'm still testing my game, because I'm kind of just making it for fun. Um, Alright, so where's our Unity? Right here. Alright, so we're going to try to make our smooth progress bar with this right here. I'm not sure where you are at, but you could do this with almost, you could do this with pretty much any progress bar, okay? Also, if you're curious on how to make circular progress bars like this, um, basically how I did it is my image is basically a circle like this. I don't know if you could see it, but it's basically just a circle. And these are a bunch of, you'll see this eventually. I'll, I'll show you how this is made. But basically, I'm going to explain how it works. Uh, let's zoom in here. So basically this dark, this like full color, uh, like yellow, orange, red, that's the, that's, the smooth progress bar. See how it kind of moves slowly while the, it's hard to see. If I can move this right here, speed. If I move this in front, ah, oh, this is a bad one. It's a bad one to do. Let's do yellow. But you kind of, if you s take a look at it, here, let's make it black. Take a look at it. See how it just resets and then just catches up with the smooth progress bar? That's pretty much how it works. Is that this is basically an average the the yellow one is the full is basically the average of this black one within a certain amount of time. I guess that's how I can explain it. Okay? So basically it's moving at a certain speed. You can change it, you can make it fast, uh make it like really slow, which would be the smoothest, but also be kind of weird. Or you can have a fast one where it's like, you know, it's almost like this, but you still have a transition, okay? Mine's both, I guess. It's like I still get that transition, and it's pretty fast, and it's cool because it's a decay. That's what makes it slow down once it gets close to this, okay? So that's how it works. You can see that just resets, and that follows. And basically, the wider this is, the faster this one is moving. As you can tell, this red one, it's very eye rape, but it's moving very fast. So that means we have, it's moving very fast compared, uh, compared to its, um, the equation that I'm using, which I'll show you. Anyways, on to the video. Okay, so we're going to set up our progress bar. So we are going to go to right here. It's in our upgrade screen, and it's called click upgrade one bar, okay? So you see, it's just a casual progress bar right here. So now you can design it however you want to, but I'm going to kind of show you how to make it look like cool, I guess. Ooh, okay. So what I would usually do is I have, so this would be the average. I would have another bar right here. I would change the color of this. So, you know, maybe like to a light green or something like that. So this could be like the fast one where it's always ahead just like this one right here, the light one. So we'll make that light green. Actually, no, we'll keep this white. I like this green though, so I'll copy this color. So we're gonna have our progress bar the same color, but basically we're gonna, let's redo this. So we're basically gonna copy this, so pay close attention. We're gonna copy this bar right here with the BG. We're gonna paste it and we're gonna delete the BG inside the one that we pasted. So you get bar BG bar, okay? And you can just rename it to, smooth okay and this will be our green okay so we're just gonna look like that it'll look like this okay 
If it's moving faster, it'll look like this, because it's trying to catch up, but it can't because it's moving so fast. But if it's moving slow, it'll mostly look like this, or maybe even smaller like that. Okay? That's how it works. Um, that's it. So for me, I'm going to add a little more decoration by doing outline. I can change the color of that to white. So that looks like in-game. Mm, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, I like to like that. All right, so we have our progress bar. Let's go launch our script. Uh, so I have installed um, Writer. It is great. Definitely need to get used to it, but it's a big help. You can see I can just go to a random gray underline string or variable or something. Alt enter it, enter again, and it just makes it better. <laughs> so now I don't know how, I don't know what it did actually. So I'm going to undo that. Oh, I see what it did. Okay. So basically it just merged these two lines together. Yeah, just like that. So if you press alt enter, it just makes things cleaner. You don't have to do this, but it's very nice to have. Let's see, there's one more. I can get rid of these yellow lines right here. Right here. So I'm just going to alt enter, invert if, and yeah, that's what I get. So if you want to change it, make it sure it looks like this. Keep, and when you're switching it, make sure you switch the sign so it looks exactly like this, okay? So that's just one thing I like to do. Oh, what's up here? Rename. I'm going to ignore that. I don't want to rename it. Uh, What's up? What else is up? Oh, I'm not using these. Duh. What's nice about writer is that they automatically add this stuff. So if you're typing like public big double, it'll automatically add this for you, which is really nice. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get on with the actual script. So let's go to episode. What is that? Episode 13. No, it's episode 15. Wow. <laughs> I forgot what episode it was. Yeah, a lot of videos. All right. Episode 15. All right. So we need to have. So we already have a progress bar. Where is it? Oh, looks like we don't have it anymore. That's kind of stupid. I don't know where that's at. Okay. Well, if my sco if my code looks a little different. And then just don't do what I just don't make a new image. So basically, I'm gonna make a new image for click upgrade bar one. Click upgrade one bar. Okay, I'm not sure where yours is called, but basically, I am trying to get this original bar that I had for the cost I did in one of my episodes for progress bars. So make sure you don't make a new one if you already have one. Okay, you're just gonna use that one. Okay. I'm just stupid and somehow deleted it. Also, sorry, my voice is really bad. Still sick. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a new one. Click upgrade one bar smooth. Don't know why this is so laggy. I think that's because of my game here. So, All right, so we have our two progress bars here. We're also going to create another variable here called public double click upgrade one bar temp. And actually, this could be a big double. Okay. Um, so where did my. I don't know where my stuff went. This is a little annoying. Uh, so I guess I'll make this for you guys. I have to make a new method real quick for the fill amount because it del I got deleted, I think. Unless I never did a video on that. So let's just make a, a new method under the update method called public void um, big double fill amount. And I'm really sorry if my, my code is just so like out of whack. I don't know what happened. I really hope it's not confusing anybody. I don't know what's going on. But every time I make a change, it just freezes. Writer. It's so annoying. Okay, we should be safe to go now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, back to where we were. Under our... Ah, oh, no. Why is it doing this now? Okay, there we go. Okay, under our public void update method, we're going to create another one. It uh, looks like I didn't save it, right? Yeah, I didn't. Okay, public void big double fill. Okay. And in here, we are going to accept two big doubles, big double, x. 
x, big double y, and we need an image, fill, okay? So then what we do in here is that we gotta, it, whoa. Okay, I don't know what that was. Okay, um, anyways, back to where we were. We need to convert these two big doubles into flutes so we can get this fill to work. And I'm pretty sure I've explained it in the past. I, I, I don't get why it's doing this. So anyways, we're going to do this. So we're just gonna type float Z. We need to make a float variable. We're going to make another one called A, just a random one. Uh, you can name these however you want, but I, this is just how I name it, just to make it uh, sweet and simple. All right, X divided by Y. This is our percentage, basically. So you could do var percent, and that helps you remember. So basically, if A is less than this number, then we are not going to have a single like value because you, you can't see 0.1% on a progress bar really, it doesn't matter, or less than that, you can't see less than that, that's just, just stupid, else if A is greater than 10, because we can't see more than 1000%, obviously, so that doesn't make any sense, right, and we're just going to cap it at 1, okay, else, we could just make it, a, if A is greater than 1, Z is 1, we could do that too, so, however you want to do that, Z, we need to have a float cast, because we are converting our A, and we're going to make it to a two double. Now, the reason we can't just do two floats, because that doesn't, A, that doesn't exist, and B, we can't do this because uh, doubles don't work in your image fill amounts as well. So we got to use a cast for float, and now it's a float. And at the bottom, we're going to type in fill dot fill amount is equal to Z, and that is it. So now we've got to apply it to the actual progress bars, which we're going to do up here. Oh, this is why. It's because this is someone else. I had, yeah, my version got corrupted, so I had to borrow someone else's. That's why. <laughs> All right. So this is episode 15. We're going to use this. So anyways, we're going to use our two, prog our two images that we used here. And the smooth. So we're just going to copy this, replace that, replace the bar with smooth. And now we need to actually get this stuff going because it's not ready yet. Anyways, where's all my stuff? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. Are my costs gone? That'd be kind of sad. Okay, that's really strange. Okay, I see where this is. So here's all of our costs here. I don't know why they're here, why this guy made them like this, but we are gonna move them. Okay. We're gonna move them to our fi episode 15. Again, if you already have these up here, then you're completely fine. You don't need to worry about this. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So we're gonna type in public big double, because this is clearly a big double, right? Replace them with the vars. So here are our click costs. Okay. And here is our production cost. We can just keep it at P cost. Okay, I see why. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, what to do here? I'm gonna try something cool, okay? So I think I've showed you this in the past, but basically what you could do to set variables inside or outside of the actual methods is that you could do get and this and then return it like that, like this, okay? So a better way to do this is to take this. This is something cool. I just learned this uh, yesterday too. Make an arrow. That's it. 
and you paste that in. So basically, PCOS will always equal this equation right here. So what is it asking me? It's probably going to ask me, yep, it's going to ask me to rename it. I'm not going to. Um, we can do that for the rest. So that's easy. You just make an arrow. We are done. So that is very, very easy. Instead of putting it in your update method or just having it in that get return um, garbage, you could just have this an arrow right here. And it's a single line. Okay. So to make our progress bars, we need to have. So we're just going to set these up real quick. Okay. So remember, we're going to change these eventually. Okay. So our first one is going to be money. Ah. Data. Stop. Data dot coins. Okay. And in the middle, we're going to do our cost, which is click upgrade one. So we're just going to click cost one. Plop that in there. And a comma. And there it is. We're just going to copy and paste for the second one. Okay. So we have our progress bars. It will work. If I need to test it, we can do that. Oh, problem here is that <laughs> it doesn't really agree with me. So we got to replace these. So let's make sure you don't have any errors. People will probably ask me why is this not working. So just make sure you are very, very careful about your upgrades. Okay. Make sure, and remember, capitalization is key. You gotta, some people will have like a capital C in one place and it won't work and they won't realize it, but you gotta make sure it's capitalized or capitalized correctly, okay? And I'm very like, very specific on how you should capitalize your thing. Like, see, this is called, um, this is not Pascal case. Uh, what is it called? I think it's, it's something else. I forgot what it's called, but this is very important. This is for when, for variables, okay? I talked about it the other day with someone else, so <laughs> I completely forgot. I think it's snake case or something like that. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Um, anyways, back to what we were doing. We need to make the smooth effect, okay? So I'm going to make another uh, another method under this big double fill. It's be called public void or, yeah, public void smooth number smooth number not smoother number smooth number okay and here we're going to type in big double x and big double y okay so basically this is going to be your temp variable and this is going to be your actual variable so before we do that we need to make a, a temp cost okay so under here we will type public big double Click cost one temp. This is for your smooth progress bar, okay? There's a reason why we're doing this. All right, so in here, we're just gonna type a bunch of um, if statements to determine how the progress bar is going to react, okay? So we're gonna do if x is greater than y, and y is equal to zero. And actually, to make this easier, we can just replace x with temp and y with actual, or Actually, temp can be smooth, so we'll do that. So if smooth is greater than the actual value and y value is equal to zero, okay? So the progress bar is at zero, but the smooth progress bar still needs to reset. So it's kind of like when I was showing you that example, how the progress bar needs to slow, like quickly and then slowly reset. This is what we're doing right here, okay? So smooth will minus equal, because we got to reset it, smooth minus actual divided by, this is your speed, okay? I'm going to put 10, because that's my most favorite speed. My, in the game I was showing you before, I was using 8, so it's a little slower. If we use 5, it'll be incredibly slow. If we use 25, it'll be really fast, okay? No, no, okay. No, if you use one, it'll be really fast. If you use 10, it'll be slower, okay? So this will be just a little slower than what I showed you. But it's barely, you can barely tell the difference. And plus 0 0.1 times time dot delta time, the frame time. All right, now we need to have another one. So if x to the floor, oh, no, nope, I forgot. Sorry, ignore me. If smooth point floor... Oh, I see now. Okay, issue here. 
So we need to do floor smooth, okay? So if floor smooth is less than actual, it needs to catch up. So we're gonna add on to smooth, okay? So smooth will plus equal actual minus smooth divided by the speed plus 0 0.1 times time delta time, okay? So it's adding on instead, okay? And then it'll go really fast and it'll slow down once it approaches that actual value. And the reason why we have this plus 0 0.1 is so it doesn't keep increasing forever. So basically, it's estimating just a, a sl like a just a tiny bit above the progress bar, but it'll never actually reach it because of this, or of this following statement, okay? Or after this one, okay? So if x floor smooth is greater than actual, instead, we're just gonna completely do the opposite which is just a copy paste of this, okay? We subtract, that's pretty much it. Else, smooth is equal to actual. So this is where, <clears throat> this is where the point one comes into play. So if it's increasing, it's estimating above the progress bar. So I'm gonna draw a little example. Also, I'm really sorry, my voice sounds bad. It is, it, I can just hear it, it sounds awful. <laughs> All right, so I was editing the video and I decided to explain it on the whiteboard. I thought I'd try something new. So, and I, this will also look better than on paint. So we're gonna draw a little progress bar. All right, and we're gonna draw a red line. I need to kind of sort out my markers. All right, we're gonna draw a red line. This will represent our variable a, which is also equal to x divided by y. Okay, and remember, x is our coins. And this is the cost, okay? And this is zero right here, and this is one, all right? So what we do here is that 0 0.001 is, is a very tiny sliver right here, probably even less than that, and that's 0 0.001. So if this variable is just a tiny bit smaller than that, then we're automatically just gonna round that to zero. While for here, we do 10, which is probably all the way over there, all the way over there, we round that back to one. I mean, you could obviously just set the, the thing to one. So if it's over one, it'll just set at one. But I just put 10 just for precision, I guess. Um, doesn't really matter what you do there. Anyways, so this is our actual, like our actual value right here. Our smooth, however, is gonna be blue. Let's say it's right here, okay? So right now, it is behind this bar. So it, it, it's behind the actual one, so it needs to catch up. So it's gonna continue going this way, right? So it's gonna go right. Until it has this estimation right here of 0 0.01, that's our error. And that is gonna be like, let's make this green. All right, the estimation, the estimation will be right here. And this right here, that is bad, what am I doing? 0.1. Okay, so basically we are overestimating just so this doesn't casually decay forever till this red line, okay? Because it will do that. So we want it to happen to here is because it's going to guaranteed cross that red line always, okay? While it will never cross this green line, okay? Hope that makes sense. So let's change things up. All right, so let's say the, the progress bar was ahead of the red one. So it's right here. So let's say this whole thing's shaded blue and that's shaded red, okay? So we won't be able to see this red line. We would just see the entire blue, okay? That's smooth. So what it needs to do, this is what happens when it resets, basically. It needs to go back down, all right? So head towards that red line. <laughs> and we're gonna have another estimation line of zero point, the size of 0 0.1. And instead, that will be on this side, uh, like that. So basically, estimating on this line right here, that's the 0 0.1 error. And it will approach this green line. And once it is past that red line, it will just stop it right at the A line, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Okay. We need to replace these. 
So this smooth is going to be based off of, I'm trying to think how I should do this. Okay, I see the issue here. This, this temp right here, it actually needs to be a coins temp. I'm really sorry, but it needs to be a coins temp, okay? So basically, we're going to replace this coins right here with coins temp because this is what we're going to be controlling all the way down here, okay? So how do we do that? Well, above it, we do smooth number. We put our first number, our smooth number, coins temp, comma, our actual number, data.coins, okay? And that is it. We are done. So we are going to test this in here real quick, and hopefully we should be good to go. And hopefully this wasn't too complicated. Hopefully it's useful. It might not be for some people, but if you want to decorate your game, this is one way to do it. I hope you guys aren't mad for not doing like as productive videos, but I'm, trust me, I'll get there. I just want to get this stuff like out of the way before I actually forget to do it. So I thought, I thought it's cool. All right, so we're gonna save it. So make sure you drag your bar into the bar and just smooth into the smooth image, okay? And your bar should already be here from your tutorial. Mine is just retarded, so <laughs> hopefully we're all on track. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay, I see an issue. Uh, it should be an issue, okay. So we're gonna go to our upgrades. Uh, we can buy some of these. So let's just see, let's just buy some. Okay, um, Okay, it's not working. So what's going on? What's going on? So this smooth is always at zero. Okay, I see the issue here. The issue here is we forgot one important step. We are directly changing a variable inside a method. And how do you do that? You add a ref. So that means you gotta add it up here too. Or else we are changing a copy of it. Okay. So we gotta type ref because if we wanna directly change it. Alright. So now it should work. There you go. Here you go. There's your smooth progress bar. So that's buy. See, that's so cool. <laughs> so now you can't see it here, obviously. That'd be kind of cool to watch, but you can see it in action. Yeah, all right. Uh, actually, I want to try something. I want to try to make it go really fast. <laughs> so let's add some money. Let's add a lot of production upgrades. See how the white bar gets a little thicker? So let's keep doing this. Let's just buy tons of upgrades. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot. <laughs> it actually affects out. Yeah. See, now it's really tiny. It's because it's going really slow. So let's just buy tons of upgrades. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so now we should be getting enough. Ah, we, got, we might have to reset Oh, no. Oh, no. No, he can't do that. That's a lot. Okay, that's better. So now if you buy one of these... Well, let's try to get this bar fast. Oh, yeah, there you go. See that? how that white bar is really fast? <laughs> See that? That is really fast. So you can change the speed of it. So let's change it real quick. So let's say we want it at one. Actually, no, because that'll be the actual value. So let's say we want it two. We want it half. Well, it I mean, it grows half the speed, I guess. That's what we can say. If we make it one, it will just follow it, basically. So now two should look different. See how it's like constantly on the white bar instead of it being really smooth?
Okay, so now if we change it to like 50, it's gonna look kind of stupid. <laughs> it's gonna look like it's in extreme slow motion because every frame times the delta times delta frame, it is div every second, it is dividing its current value. And it's gonna either add it or subtract it by 50. That is very slow. Well, if you do half of it, it's just gonna like go really fast, if that makes sense. If you don't understand the speed, just make it, remember, the lower the number is, the faster it is, or the more reactive it is. So let's see, ready? Ooh, see how slow that is? That is very slow, it can't keep up. <laughs> That is very slow. That is un that is unreasonably slow. So that's why I like it mine at ten, like eight to ten, maybe eight to twelve. I think that just looks perfect. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that video was helpful. I promise I'll probably have more interesting videos in the future, more related to the idol game itself. And if you have any comments, or if you have any comments or questions, just comment them down below. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. I'll do my best to post active videos, and it would mean so much to me. I am almost on my way to a thousand subscribers, so let's get there as soon as possible. And I will be, and I will. I promise I'll have a really big surprise for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and night. Peace.